Liverpool, late breaking. This is WPAL TV 11 News Saturday morning in HD. Welcome back. With the chill in the air, you may be starting to think about your fall planting. And here to help is Rebecca Cohen. She is the co-founder and president of Rebecca's Plants. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Well, great to have you here. And today you're more focusing on the vegetable garden and things that we can still do with that. Absolutely. I've got some great tips to transition your vegetable and herb garden into fall. And we're going to talk about ways that you can preserve your herbs, too, to have that flavor longer. Okay. So let's start with tomatoes because we still, many of us still have our tomato plants in the ground. We do. September is National organic garden harvest month so you can see that our summer veggies are still thriving we have some tomatoes mm -hmm. here that my kids help me plant as well as some chocolate peppers there are these fun little peppers that are great for the kids to eat but now is the time to also start planting your fall vegetables a lot of people think that your vegetables are done at the mm -hmm. end of summer but that's not true there are a lot of nutrient and flavor packed vegetables like spinach radishes peas and kale that are great to start now you can plant right now but you don't have to dig up what's in your vegetable garden you say you can do it in pots you can do it in pots you don't have to dig up what you have start with pots okay. I've got this kale from a company called seeds of change it's a wonderful organic seed company that I like mm -hmm. it's called dinosaur kale and what a Just great for way kids. to get their kids to try their vegetables all you're gonna do is take a pot about the size of a bucket okay fill it with about half compost and half pot potting mix. If you don't have the compost, it's mm -hmm. okay. You want to sprinkle the seeds on top, just like that. Cover it with another layer of soil. Okay. Make sure there are drainage holes in the bottom mm -hmm. of your pot. Water it, place it in the sun, and then water again when it's dry to the touch. And the great thing about fall vegetables is they love the cool weather. Oh, that's perfect for right now. And you don't even have to go out and buy a pot. Just use what you have at home. If exactly. you have flowers that are dying, just toss them that's out right. and That's right. Toss them, them and recycle it. And what's wonderful is, you know, this might take a couple of months to grow. Mm -hmm. But it's got a mild flavor. It's great for stews and soups like minestrone. And my kids love going out to the garden, picking fresh produce, and bringing it in to cook with me. And with issues like childhood obesity right now, we need to bring some More of these fresh activities vegetables and fruit into and the daily routine. Outside. Sure. So it contributes to a healthy lifestyle. Sure. And some of the stuff you'll plant right now can go even after a freeze. Is that right? It can go after a freeze with something called a floating row cover. You mm -hmm. can look it up online. It's going to keep your vegetables away from those cold temperatures but still let the sunlight and moisture in that it needs. Okay, here's a big problem because a lot of folks will plant herbs and, and they don't know how then to dry their herbs. So you've got some tips for folks. I do. We've got some wonderful rosemary here and you can see that I've already started bunching it up and tying it with a twist tie. It's a great way as the herbs dry, you can just tighten it a sure. little bit. What you want to do is keep it in a cool, dry place. This is just a jewelry hanger that I had. You can also put them in a row on mm -hmm. a regular hanger and put them on the back of a door. It's going to take about two weeks to dry and you want to preserve the whole leaf when they're dry and brittle to the touch take off the whole leaf put them in a jar and you can preserve them up to a year and have wonderful flavor now today you're talking about vegetables but fall planting some people think about flowers as well when should we start thinking about putting our bulbs in the ground bulbs you know I like to wait till October even mm -hmm. into November as long as you can work the soil and right. work the ground you can put your bulbs in it's a great family planting activity that's a whole lot of fun so no need to panic no need to rush out and buy everything, but right now focus on your vegetables because if you want good salad, now's a perfect time. Focus on your vegetables and herbs. Get the kids involved. It's a great family activity. Okay, and where can we find you? Because you have a whole list of tips. Yes, you can check out my vegetable gardening mm -hmm. guide at RebeccaPlants.com. All right, sounds good. So nice to meet you. Thank you for all the great information. It's great to be here. And again, for more information, check out Rebecca's website, www.RebeccaPlants.com. And please stay with us. John has another look at your weekend forecast when we come back.